Here are two power stations that look identical on the outside. They have the same form factor, same case, but on the inside, the battery chemistry is very different. And just because they're both lithium batteries, that doesn't mean you get the same thing. The chemistry inside makes a big difference. So in this video, I wanna explain the practical difference between two very popular battery chemistries that you may have heard of before. One is called NMC and the other is LFP. So both of these power stations are from GrowWatt. One is called the 1500, one is called the 1300. The case is exactly the same on both of these, but like I mentioned, the battery chemistry is different. This one over here, the battery chemistry is nickel, manganese, and cobalt. And over here is LFP, lithium, iron, phosphate. So in terms of usable practical differences, when you go to use the outputs or the inputs on both of these power stations, they're gonna be kind of identical. There's the same wireless charging pad on top, same screens, same USB-A ports, USB-C ports. Uh, I think this one has, yeah, this the 1300 has a a barrel plug on the side. So that's really the only difference, the same inverters, etc. But the real practical difference is, again, the battery chemistry. So even though the outputs and inputs may not be noticeable, there are three main practical differences that I'm gonna show you in this video when I can compare these two power stations. So the first difference is energy density. The NMC-based battery station over here has a capacity of 1,512 watt hours, the lithium iron phosphate has a smaller capacity at 1,382 watt hours. So in terms of energy density, the battery chemistry, the NMC based one will win that challenge. So the second practical difference is weight. Even though they have the same exterior case, they weigh different amounts. So the NMC based power station weighs just a little, little over 36 pounds. And weighing the LFP power station, you can see it weighs 42 pounds. So that's a six pound difference. So it weighs six pounds more and has less capacity. So in terms of weight, the NMC power station wins that one. So the third practical difference is battery lifespan. And here's where LFP is going to shine because generally speaking, an LFP battery is going to last about six times longer than an NMC battery. And so for example here, GrowWatt made both of these power stations. This one has a higher energy density and it weighs less but it doesn't have the same cycle length as this one. This is the GrowWatt 1300. So even though it weighs a little bit more, has a little less capacity, it's gonna have a, long, a longer uh, lifespan. So for example, this one is rated for 3000 cycles down to 80% capacity. And that's how they usually rate these things. So 3000 cycles and a cycle is starting at 100%, going all the way to zero, back up to 100%, and that's one cycle. So if you did that every day, you're talking about nine years of lifespan. So that's heavy use every day, nine years, and you're not even, you're gonna get about six times less that uh, on this guy. So clearly LFP wins in the longevity category. So one last difference that I wanna mention, but it's not really a practical difference in terms of how you use a power station or not even really a big consideration is the potential for thermal runaway between these two chemistries. So they're both very safe chemistries, uh, but the LFP batteries have a much lower chance of thermal runaway. So what this means, for example, here's a battery cell, it's not from these power stations, but if you were to puncture the cells, that would cause a short circuit inside of here. And so there's a much greater chance that if that were to happen on an NMC-based battery, that you could have a fire or you know a thermal runaway condition, which you don't want. But if you were to puncture a cell on an NLFP battery, there's a much lower chance that you're gonna have a thermal runaway condition. There's actually lots of videos online that you can find where people are actually puncturing both types of batteries and you can see what happens. So LFP is going to win in terms of safety comparison, but to keep things into perspective, NMC batteries are very safe and they're very prevalent everywhere in our lives. So really it's not a big practical difference. So in summary, which one of these is better? Well, that's a subjective question because if energy density and weight are your highest considerations, like in a cell phone situation, then you want an NMC battery in there or you want an NMC based power station. But if you want a battery that's gonna last a really long time, you wanna get an LFP based battery. So another small difference between the chemistries is the elements inside. So for example, iron is very prevalent, easy to get, versus cobalt, which is a little bit harder to get and is not as prevalent around the world. And if you wanna see my full review on the GrowWatt 1300, you can check it out over here.